टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑगमेंटेड जूनिपोलर लिम्ब लेट्स बट बिफोर रियली आई गो इन डिटेल ऑफ ऑगमेंटेड जूनिपोलर लिम्ब लेट्स आई वुड लव टू मैंशन वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बाईपोलर लीड्स एंड यूनिपोलर लीड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ क्रिस्टल क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वट इज द रियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बाईपोलर इसीजी लीड्स एंड यूनिपोलर इसीजी लीड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस about the bipolar leads and let me tell you review fastly and uh, that this is our voltmeter or galvanometer or representing electrocardiographic machine and here is yes our person on which we are going to apply the bipolar lead what happens that this galvanometer or this machine has a positive terminal which is attached to the wire with a positive electrode and let's suppose we put a positive electrode here on the left arm and other terminal here is the negative terminal and negative terminal is having which electrode negative electrode and this negative electrode let's suppose is applied on the right arm so if negative terminal is applied here negative electrode is applied here and positive electrode is applied here then actually this is the construction of bipolar limb lead bipolar limb lead one so what is a bipolar ecg lead bipolar ecg lead is constructed by a positive electrode and the negative electrode applied at two points on the body surface right and detecting the potential difference between these two points so we can say bipolar ecg leads are having how many poles two poles one is positive pole other is negative, negative pole. pole and in bipolar lead we can say that positive electrode is referenced against negative electrode because it is measuring the electrical activity yes against the negative, negative electrode is it right and this is the axis of the lead what is it axis, axis of the lead the line line imaginary line joining the two electrodes is that right this is bipolar lead one bipolar limb lead number one now what is the real difference between the bipolar leads and unipolar lead first i will just talk about unipolar ecg lead later i will talk about augmented unipolar lead remember unipolar limb leads and augmented unipolar limb leads are somewhat different right first we just talk about what is unipolar ecg lead and how it is different from bipolar lead now in unipolar lead there are how many poles in bipolar lead there are two poles positive pole and negative. negative pole in unipolar lead when i asked the student most of them answer sir it's very simple unipolar lead has one, one pole this is absolutely wrong because just by one pole just by one electrode you cannot determine the voltage differential you cannot determine the potential difference actually all unipolar leads are modified bipolars let me tell you how let me construct here a unipolar lead is that right like bipolar lead unipolar lead does have positive terminal and with the positive terminal it does have positive electrode which can be applied at one part of the skin and but here is the difference that negative terminal in the unipolar lead has been modified has been modified in such a way by multiple connections and through resistance heavy resistance about 5000 ohm again in case of unipolar leads negative terminal through multiple connections 
and through the resistances is converted into indifferent electrode negative is converted into what kind of electrode in different electrode right so we can say what is indifferent electrode indifferent electrode is least bothered electrode actually as in bipolar lead negative negative electrode is really negative right but in unipolar leads negative electrode has been converted into indifferent electrode or it has been converted that it sends almost zero potential it, it senses almost zero. zero potential so we also call indifferent electrode as many names in some books they write it indifferent electrode then other books write the same electrode indifferent electrode is also called don't be confused later on i will explain how we convert the negative electrode into indifferent electrode right now you just believe it is indifferent electrode indifferent electrode is also called near, near zero near. electrode it is also called null electrode and later on i will tell you that actually it is also called virtual electrode i will explain later why virtual indifferent electrode it is also called yes what other name it has many names this indifferent electrode is called of course indifferent electrode or near zero electrode because its potential is not negative it is very less negative or almost zero or null electrode or virt virtual electrode yes zero. zero potential electrode near zero electrode now let me explain it further why this is called unipolar and what is the difference bipolar lead is something like yes a very young hot couple right this is like a young boy positive electrode and girl is also reactive positively in a positive sense right negative electrode and there's a lot of heat in between voltages are very high yes that is right voltages are very high there are two poles right there are two poles now after 20 years of marriage happily married couple with five children do you think women remain so reactive most some women not i will not talk about all women some women after 20 years of marriage some wives they are more interested in the children and children of the children and less interested in their husband they become least bothered wife they become least bothered wives or they become indifferent wives and then male still is hot and he is still positive electrode and because now he start looking around when he is not getting proper attention from his wife he start looking around for more options so this electrode male this electrode is also called exploring electrode so what is unipolar lead ecg lead it is basically constructed by an exploring electrode positive electrode as exploring electrode and negative terminal as indifferent electrode least bothered electrode zero potential electrode virtual electrode you are getting it null electrode some of my one of my friends used to say when couple is happily married for 30 years they know each other so well and they love each other so much that if you closely look at their faces they look like not husband and wife they may look like some of the couples may look like like brother and sister why this has happened the wife probably turned into a different electrode but still it is there are two pole there's positive pole and indifferent pole unipolar lead positive pole and negative pole bipolar, bipolar lead is that clear now our next concept is 
वट वाई सम वन मेड यूनिपोलर लीड्स वाई इन दास्ट सम डॉक्टर मेड अस पुट अस इन टू दिस ट्रबल ऑफ लर्निंग दिस बिकॉज सम डॉक्टर वॉज ट्राइंग टू मेक इन डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रॉड वाई दिस इलेक्ट्रॉड इज मेड वट इज दिस इलेक्ट्रॉड वट आर द एडवांटेजेज एंड डिसएडवाटेजेज ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट दैट वाई दिस इन डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रॉड इज मेड इज दट राइट लेट्स कॉल लेट्स पोज वी गो बैक टू बाइपोलर एंड देन विल कम बैक टू अवर यूनिपोलर सिस्टम वेन वी टॉक अबाउट बाइपोलर लीड्स राइट लेट मी ड्रॉ हेयर एंथोवेंस ट्राइंगल इट वॉज मिस्टर एंथोवेंस who made the bipolar leads around 1900 the real real trouble started here the mr enthoman dr enthoman made bipolar limb leads right and these limb leads can be shown into a okay i will make it here what is this enthoman's triangle negative terminal here positive terminal here what is it lead number 1 negative terminal here right arm and positive terminal here what is it second second uh, lead and this is third lead third bipolar limb lead is it clear and la in last lecture i said if we slide these lead to the center of the triangle this is the center of the triangle if we slide these leads to the center of the triangle to see how they are angulated in relative to each other how they are oriented to each other so we discussed if this is the lead number 1 with positive electrode here you remember that yes. then this should be lead number 2 two. Two, and here should be lead number 3 right now you imagine i told you the electrical activity electrical activity of the heart is just like a girl a beautiful hot girl walking when depolarization is moving in the myocardium and i told you that these positive electrodes are the eyes of the naughty boys looking at that hot sexy girl yes is that right so now let me put it here this is our patient uh, okay i will make it a different this is the, there is a person here and let's apply here is her heart the beautiful heart here i will make it different color right and here is let's suppose major ventricular depolarization this is electrical activity during the ventricular depolarization right during qrs complex i have made it the major ventricular depolarization by this vector now what happened in wilson system in wilson system lead number 2 was here you remember lead number this is lead number 3 sorry lead number 3 here lead number 2 here let's suppose that from here if i put main cross section here and lead number that's negative and here is positive what is this lead third bipolar limb lead right and okay i will put it a little different angulated here this is third bipolar and if i make it here what is this second. Second. second bipolar now you see this is our sexy hot girl and these are two boys looking at her from very naughty angles one boy is looking yeah this is lead number 3 axis of the lead number 3 here is what is this 120 degree and axis of the lead of this was 60 degrees positive 60 degree positive 120 degree now 
look at it that lead number 2 electrode of lead number 2 is looking at the electrical activity of the heart electrode of the lead number 2 is trying to look at the electrical activity of the heart but what is its axis it is looking upward and rightward lead number 2 the boy number 2 okay call it boy number 2 it is looking upward and rightward of course it gets a glimpse from here right boy number 3 this is here boy number 3 this is boy number 2 and here is boy number 3 bipolar limb lead number 3 it is also trying to look at the electrical activity of the heart but its angle of vn electrical axis of the lead or angle of vn of the naughty boy is upward and leftward now you see it this is looking upward and rightward look and this is looking upward and leftward in 1930s in 1930s another doctor came dr wilson he was a little naughty very naughty not like these two boys he wanted a view from here straight up ah you are smiling in a very wrong way yes in those days even they were naughty doctors so mr wilson in 1930s he decided that i should make a lead which should be fill the gap of between the 60 degree and 120 degree should look straight at 90 degree straight upward i think he should be the most considered most naughty is that right this is lead number two now mr wilson wanted to make an other lead he said i want to put the positive here positive electrode of the machine will be put here but he was having a trouble when he put negative lead will look in this direction if you put negative there lead will look in their direction the easiest easiest way what he could do was he put positive here and put the negative here and it could become a straight up your understanding he wanted to look 90 degree from up i don't know why but i think you can guess why right this was the most naughty doctor i think in the history who made the wilson lead at this point your understanding he wanted to pick the pick the voltage from where from the foot but he didn't want to put negative on right side or left side because then it will convert in bipolar leads of enthoven system he wanted to look straight top right he wanted to look at the bottom i mean bottom of the heart he wanted to look he wanted to direct this naughty boy's eyes focus on the bottom bottom of the heart, heart so that electrical activity of the heart can be also judged or viewed from this point your understanding now what he was looking what to do he came with a crazy idea he thought that somehow somehow he should not put negative electrode on these two sides you understand his problem he put positive here but then he is wondering where to put the negative if he put negative it is bipolar lead number two if you put here negative it is bipolar limb lead number three he wanted to put it somewhere but at the same time he thought he wanted to do it secretly he wanted to get this view secretly he didn't want to put more electrode here or here or here so he started thinking is there any way that i make a virtual electrode virtual electrode which is in the center of the heart it is 1930s he was not going to do cardiac surgery and put the negative pole there in the heart he just started thinking that if you want to get this 
very sexy view right to the bottom of the heart he has to put a negative electrode in the center of the heart but how to put it so he and his colleagues came up with the idea i think one of them must be very good in uh, geometry idea is this if you make a triangle if you make a triangle and triangle is equilateral equilateral means the sides of the triangle are same length and if you put same charge at the three apices of the triangle the sum of these charges in the center will be zero because all these charges will cancel each other if you have passed your geometry with flying colors you must know it otherwise we just trust wilson was right that if we have an equilateral triangle and put what is this Negative. three electrode at every corner and all these three electrodes listen now carefully are connected to each other okay i will make color of this different these are electrodes these are the wires of electrode what are these wires of electrode now wire number for which this is from right what left arm left arm wire this is right arm, right arm wire this is left foot or leg wire wilson and his team concluded that if we measure the what is this potential at the apices of the corners of the three corners of equilateral triangle and we sum them together what we do sum we sum them together how did we sum we added them here these three wires are added to each other then this point will detect how much potential almost zero so this is how he decided to make a indifferent electrode and he said if all of them are added together it is equivalent to putting a virtual electrode in the center of center of what is this triangle you are understanding it yes again i will repeat it wilson and their friends used the concept of geometry and math and mathematics and they used the this concept that if there is equilateral triangle and if you pick up the current at the apices right equilateral triangle and if you pick up the current from three apices and add them together they will cancel each other and end up with potential almost zero almost zero, zero. and in that case we cannot say that electrode is here or there or there for this common terminal this is now this term if this is connected to a terminal for example if this wire is connected to negative terminal this will be called common terminal because it is taking information from multiple points and adding them together so these three wires are united to a common wire so when it will end up on machine terminal that terminal should be called common terminal that should be called so common common terminal. terminal is that right now when we make a machine common terminal let's look at this now i'm going to add here this is your beautiful machine okay this is your positive electrode what is this positive, positive electrode and here it was negative your negative. no negative electrode and this negative electrode was connected with how many wires three, three wires three wires and these three wires were connected with three electrode right arm left arm and left leg you understand it yes sir when we put negative in all these three things whatever electrical activity is going in heart when this electrical activity or potentials are picked from the corner of this it is it is equivalent to putting an electrode in the center of the triangle almost in the heart and potential will be near zero if this is how mr wilson made indifferent electrode you understand it 
Yes, what is so your question? It's not perfectly equilibrated, right? Oh, wow, one of my students is super intelligent, right? Same as one of the Wilson's friend was intelligent. He said, sir, Mr. Wilson, but if you apply one electrode here, neck, wire here, one here and one there, it is not perfectly equilateral triangle because to achieve the indifferent electrode or to achieve the, what is this, near zero potential, it has to be perfectly equilateral, it has to be perfectly equilateral and heart has to be perfectly in the center. Only then you will achieve a virtual electrode, virtual electrode in the center of the heart with almost zero potential. Mr. Wilson was very sharp. He said, okay, there's a little problem. You are right. Triangle which is made by right arm, left arm and the leg is not perfectly equilateral. And heart is really not in the very center. So little bit current will flow. So this sexy doctor, he put very strong resistors everywhere. So a little bit current fluctuation which has come prevent that. That is why in unipolar leads, there are resistors put, which are not put in the bipolar leads. So 5000 ohm, right? I don't know how to write ohm. Anyway, they put strong resistors. When they put the strong resistance, they achieve here almost zero. You get it? Yes. Now you are clear? Yes. So this is what Mr. Wilson did. Once he was able to make the negative terminal, now he has converted negative terminal into indifferent terminal. It is no more really very negative. Right? This happens when you have three girlfriends, all of them are equidistant, and all of them come to know about each other. They will be indifferent to you. The least bothered them. This is how we made this indifferent electrode, that negative electrode put at three different corners of almost equilateral triangle, assuming the heart in the center, right? Ending up into uh, adding the resistors, resistance there. So converting the, what is this? Negative terminal into common indifferent terminal. What we have made? Converted the negative terminal of the machine or galvanometer or electrocardiograph into common because it is taking all three information. Common indifferent terminal. So this terminal, this is how common indifferent terminal was designed or constructed by Mr. Wilson and his friends. So now you know how we achieve. You don't need to put the electrode inside the heart. Or do you? Is it right? Yes. So come back to this naughty boy, Mr. Wilson, who wanted a very much, uh, wanted to look at the bottom. So what did he do? He put, now I'm going to construct another lead here. Oh my God. She has the stars here and beautiful eyes and very innocent smile unfortunately and they are naughty guys they are very sad right and right leg actually is having a neutral electrode or earth or ground electrode so forget about that i will draw the left leg here okay and here is your right leg right not yours and here is what you do. Now, Mr. Wilson, what did he do? Let me explain. He took the same leads of and machine system of which one? Anthovens, right? Positive electrode is here. What is this? This is positive at one hand. And negative terminal, yes. Negative terminal was divided into how many? Negative terminal was divided into three wires, connected to three wires. Right? And all these wires are having resistance. resistance. So minimal current flow should be there. And negative terminal on one side, it was added to, what is this? On other side, it was added to? 
right arm and this one is added to left leg in this way he was able to construct another triangle and this triangle is not Anthoven's triangle Anthoven's triangle is here Anthoven's triangle is made by what bipolar limb blades this we can say for our discussion purpose this is Wilson triangle what is this this is Wilson triangle and let me tell you yes this is Wilson triangle and if here hap happens to be your beautiful heart right and here is electrical activity of the heart let's suppose major ventricular depolarization is that right the beautiful girl where would you want to look at right <laughs> once negative electrode through the resistance was connected to right arm and left arm and the left leg it converted into another type of triangle for our purpose we can call it Wilson triangle and when Wilson triangle is made and it is converted into a common terminal what is this common terminal and this terminal is called Wilson common terminal what is this called Wilson common terminal right now he has achieved in the center of the what is this heart achieved which potential zero potential like here this is now actually a negative terminal is added here here and here we make a virtual terminal virtual terminal at the center of the triangle here at the center of the heart with what potential zero. near zero potential so now we can say that truly the negative pole is here with the uh, what is this all three of this added together we end up with formation of construction of indifferent electrode at the center of the triangle or in the heart so now you know how Wilson constructed converted actually how Wilson converted negative terminal and negative electrode by the set of multiple negative electrode and achieved near zero what achieved near zero potential near zero potential virtual electrode placed at the center of the heart you understand it now you look at it in this case if he put now look here what was this wire negative electrode positive electrode positive. positive electrode then he was now he come to the real naughty thing he put the positive here he put the positive on this foot right now negative uh, negative terminal is converted into indifferent terminal and different terminal is here is that right and positive terminal is here now it has been converted into bipolar lead or unipolar lead unipolar, unipolar lead because our previous definition was that when positive electrode is exploring the potential referenced against the virtual indifferent electrode this is unipolar lead so what will be the axis of this new unipolar lead axis of this new unipolar lead will be we have put the positive electrode here it will be straight looking up looking at the bottom bottom of the heart of course right it's getting a perfect 90 degree view the most naughty lead I think we have right so in this way what Wilson was able to achieve this was bipolar lead system he achieved a lead which is looking putting a positioning between the lead 2 and 3 right this was lead number 3 which was looking upward and upward and leftward this is lead number 2 which was looking upward and right. rightward both of them were probably missing the real point so Mr. Wilson came these leads were developed by Anthovans then Mr. Wilson came he made unipolar leads how he did make the unipolar leads he converted the 
he kept the positive electrode the same now which is called exploring, exploring electrode exploring electrode but he converted the negative terminal into indifferent terminal you know how by making putting the negative terminal connection on right arm left arm and the foot any question up to this then virtual terminal came in the center here this was your virtual terminal indifferent terminal indifferent terminal is here for for functionality purpose when you put negative here right positive here the axis will go straight up axis will go straight up so this will be a view wow this view is passing like that right am i clear now this is a voltage this new lead which is constructed by unipolar system of the wilson or constructed by the help of wilson common terminal right this is called vf v stand for what and f stands for not f word f stands for not f word even though it's looking straight up from leg to up right this f stands for foot the voltage from the foot simple as that whenever now listen carefully whenever positive electrode is whenever positive electrode is exploring the voltage in re relative to the indifferent electrode in the body this lead will be called v lead and because this v is picked up from this v is for voltage and f is for foot v not for other v and f not for other word right this is vf voltage from the foot perfectly straight at the bottom of the heart is that right any question up to this so during this whole game did to make this lead vf what is this lead now vf, VF. right i will tell you later how it was augmented and converted into avf right now it is only vf, VF. is that right once the vf is made the view is perfect but there is another issue the total voltage which is sensed by this is significantly reduced total voltage which is sensed by this electrode is significantly reduced as compared to the bipolar leads as you know if one pole is positive other pole is negative there is real electrical difference but if one pole is positive and other is indifferent pole voltage will be more sensed voltage voltage differential will be more or moderate or very less very less, very less. when positive electrode is detecting the potential difference relative to the negative electrode there are good voltages is that right when positive electrode is detecting voltages against the in the indifferent electrode the voltage will be very less it's very easy if you love a girl and girl also loves you this is bipolar system but if you love a girl and she is least bothered indifferent voltage will be less yes. yes. so this was the issue with this wilson newly formed lead but anyway still he was very happy why he was happy because to make the new leads he did he didn't need to apply new electrodes on the body he was using the same electrode which was used previously by anthovens you are understanding he was not putting new electrode he was not putting truly an electrode here or here but he achieved a new axis you understand it then mr wilson did other things too right now let me tell you what mr wilson what else he was doing wilson 1930s right and thovens 900 now now wilson made multiple leads total he made unipolar leads nine unipolar leads how many unipolar leads he made nine, nine unipolar leads of course ecg lead three of them were three of them were yes 
यूनिपोलर यूनिपोलर लिम्प लीड्स यूनिपोलर एंड सिक्स ऑफ दैम वर यूनिपोलर चेस्ट लीड्स सो इट मीन्स दैट इन केस ऑफ चेस्ट लीड्स वी ऑल्सो अप्लाई द विल्सन कॉमन टर्मिनल बट दैट आई विल नॉट डिस्कस नाउ दैट विल बी डिस्कस इन डिटेल वेन आई टीच यू चेस्ट लीड्स लेट्स कॉम बैक नाउ लेट्स पोज दिस इज योर ट्राइंगल राइट दिस इज विच आर्म राइट आर्म एंड वट इज हेयर लेफ्ट आर्म एंड वट इज दिस लेफ्ट लेग और लेफ्ट फुट इज दर राइट नाउ वट विल्सन वॉज डूइंग ही पुट नेगेटिव हेयर नेगेटिव हेयर एंड नेगेटिव हेयर and he achieved a virtual electrode here which was in in different is that clear yes. after achieving this thing you understand this is connected to suppose left foot this is connected to right arm and this is connected to left arm when these three are there right these three are connected like that i don't want to make really connection or you want me to make connections okay i will make a connection uh one and this is right arm sorry left arm what is this right arm and this is once he has made common terminal now he was very happy and smiling with this positive electrode why wilson was smiling he knew wherever in the body he will put this positive from the center of the heart wherever in the body he put positive he will draw a new lead put negative here negative here negative there achieve the indifferent electrode in the center of the heart done then he has this dangling which one positive electrode now positive electrode if you put in the foot line will be from heart to the foot if you put the positive electrode on the left arm it will be lead will be axis will be leftward and upward from the heart if you put positive electrode here he will achieve another lead which is from heart to right. rightward and upward yes. so this was the achievement of the wilson that once he put the convert the negative terminal and negative electrode into common wilson terminal and as indifferent electrode or virtual electrode placed in the center of the heart once he has done it then he was happy with his positive electrode he call it now exploring electrode wherever you put it it will make a line to the heart and make a new axis of the lead so when he put it on the foot when he put it on the to the foot he achieved this is that right when he put this positive electrode on this side what what he will achieve another lead if he put positive over here move the positive over here he will achieve another lead in this way he was able to make how many new leads three, three. three leads and these are okay, these are considered unipolar leads because definition of unipolar lead is positive electrode or exploring electrode is measuring the potential in reference to the indifferent electrode is that clear yes, yes. but did he truly added new electrodes no. no the same right arm left arm and left leg which was done by anthovens don't forget right arm is with the ground electrode he was using the same right but there is one problem as i told you when he was recording he made the three new leads you understand it this is which one v this is av no not avf vf it is vf and what is this vl vl this is vf and what is this one vr vr now i will ask you a question if you you want to make more leads like wilson 
you will use first of all negative terminal will be connected right arm left arm and foot you achieved an indifferent electrode in the center of the heart right done after that positive electrode you put in the foot you have made v f positive electrode on the left arm v l positive on the right arm vr voltage from the vr voltage from the right arm vl voltage from the left arm vf voltage from the foot simple as that left foot of course clear so this is what mr wilson did so let me compare here uh, bipolar leads and unipolar leads what we have learned up to now then we'll go into further detail now what we have learned up to now i'm going to make certain arrangement of the leads okay and you have to tell me which lead i'm drawing yes what is this lead bipolar lead 1 rapidly what is this lead lead 2 and so on what is is that right clear let me put it in an other way and i will compare it and contrast with the unipolar limb leads okay what is this what is this third bipolar and what is this is it clear yes now we come to another arrangement in this case our machine was this arrangement one pole was always positive other pole was always <laughs> negative clear yes you have a question yes so in last lecture we told that there are three unipolar lead three bipolar yes in the limbs listen 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 total leads are 12 right these days we are having three bipolar limb leads three unipolar limb leads which are augmented unipolar i will tell you later how wilson were augmented by the goldberger listen so three are bipolar leads on the limbs there are three limb leads of unipolar and six chest leads so so all of them are total 12 we will go to that later this system you understand now we'll compare it with the wilson system again uh, here what we have achieved okay yes there yes. in wilson system electrode arrangement is what is this positive electrode and yes with 5000 ohm uh-huh. and uh, this is suppose left foot this is right arm and left arm what is this now wilson common terminal converting the negative electrode into indifferent electrode placing the indifferent electrode in the center of the heart as near zero potential clear yes. very good now i feel relaxed some of you have really understood and if someone has not understood i think it's time to commit suicide for me now compare it this triangle with other triangles now we'll make that three triangles again right three arrangement first of all all of them here i'm putting what negative so i have achieved here what is this indifferent indifferent electrode in the center of the heart same thing i'm doing it here right and what is this again indifferent electrode and same thing here and indifferent electrode you understand from where these diagrams came yes now mr wilson first of all put a positive electrode here 
What did he achieve? What is this lead? What is this? V F. Then he put positive here. But all three remain the negative. So what is this now? V V L. Is that right? And this is V F. And then he put positive here. What was this? VR. VR. Is it clear? Yes. Any question up to this? No. There's no question. Now, there, one, there was one issue. In 1930s, Wilson and his colleagues made this system. In this way, they added three more what leads? Limb leads. Limb leads. Is that clear? Yes. And they call it unipolar limb leads. VF, VR, VL. Clear? But there was one problem, you know. The voltage recorded by the machine was very little and when QRS complex P wave or T wave they were drawn because voltage was very little because voltage was very little they were not very readable complexes even though he was able to look at the electrical activity of the heart with three more new leads and he made three new leads without applying new electrode, he used then Thoven's electrode but the issue was, what was the issue? The voltages which were recorded were very small then in 1940s more naughty doctor came he wanted to look from here but with a magnifying glass he wanted to augment the voltage isn't it strange? 1940s, another doctor came, cardiologist, and his friends, Mr. Goldberger. They were looking that voltage which is picked up by unipolar leads which are made by the Wilson, somehow these voltage should be augmented, amplified. So they started working on that, how can they do that? I mean, if they wanted to put a positive here, positive here if you look through the Wilson system you are understanding the problem came what was the problem that even though the view was perfect but what was this voltage was very less, less. voltage was very less. less so Goldberger and friends came and they said we have to look through a magnifying glass somehow enhance the voltage right and they came up with a solution and very genius solution. Goldberger solution was very simple. He said, why the voltage is less? The reason being, wherever you put the positive, with that there is also negative. negative. These partially positive negative cancel each other and voltage drop. You understand it? There were two problems. Number one, voltage is no more against the negative. Voltage is being picked from here against the indifferent electrode. Second problem was, first problem is that voltage exploring electrode is referencing itself against the indifferent electrode. So voltage is dropping. Another issue why voltage is dropping, because wherever you put the negative, along with that there is, so, sorry, wherever you put your exploring electrode or positive electrode, at the same place also there is negative. And that was reducing the potential. For example, in VF, there was negative with the positive. In V, what was this? VL. VL in the left arm, of course you put the positive, but also there is negative. <laughs> in case of V, R, with the positive there is also negative. Right? So, Goldberger people, friends thought they have a golden idea, you know, magnify the views. So, they were thinking, so how to magnify the view? The gold burger came up with a golden idea. What was that? The idea was that modify the Wilson common terminal in such a way that wherever you put the positive electrode, wherever you put the positive electrode at the same place, negative should be inactivated. Negative should be inactivated. inactivated. You are understanding? Yes. So then new Goldberger 
came with this idea i will make uh, these are modified wilson's or modified unipolar this is your positive electrode or exploring electrode is the same right he modified which wilson what he was doing wilson even though was having the three end right what he was doing now listen carefully and compare this what i'm going to draw for example if goldberger was putting positive here he disconnected from this limb what negative, negative. when he disconnected negative now negative are left only right arm and the left arm you understand it yes. right arm and the left arm now you imagine back if positive is here and negative is only here what is this lead second lead if positive is here and negative is only there what is this third but if you put another way to look if boy is here and girl is there is looking like that if boy is here and girl is there only is looking like that but if there is one girl here and one girl there there are two girls where boy has to look in the center to keep both in the visual field you understand it so what happened when he disconnected let's suppose this is connected here right this is connected here and this one one was disconnected when he is recording here what happened now this is looking this is looking the in between these now it is no more looking upward and rightward no more looking upward and leftward it is looking straight up so we can say that virtual electrode has been shifted here in between these two negative and still we get the same what is this same axis but voltage is augmented because previously it was from here up to here now it is from here up to that so voltage was 50% augmented but because the axis of the lead was the same the ecg pattern was exactly same as by the vf vf so in this way mr goldberger did a trick he converted what is this wilson central terminal into goldberger goldberger central terminal he wanted to stamp his name also right goldberger central terminal what was the specialty of goldberger central terminal that wherever wherever he put the exploring electrode associated negative electrode was inactivated or disconnected in this way now a new virtual electrode was generated your indifferent electrode was generated which was in between the two negative but voltage is increased and and wave form amplitude is increased 50% you are understanding or not because when you remove negative from here this negative is unable to neutralize some of the potential here now you understand if positive is on the foot listen here if positive is on the foot and negative is here it is lead number 2 if positive is on the foot and negative is here it is lead number 3 bipolar if positive is on the foot and negative is here here and also on the foot it will look straight up but this is new vf, VF. what is this vf the voltage is poor yes another way is you put negative only here and only here right and positive only on the foot now it will show the same view which was by the vf the voltage will be enhanced so now it will be called avf augmented voltage from the foot right so what goldberger did augmented amplified the voltage magnified the voltage to vf he put the magnifying glass right so view is really better yes sir if we inactivate the negative electrode could it destroy or disturb the zero potential that yeah this does changes a little zero potential zero potential he say that if negative is removed from one point and left only at two point then it will be truly zero that is why from the very beginning i'm saying indifferent electrode is near zero or close to zero there was a reason what i was saying 
but still it will be very less because resistances are there is your understanding am i clear really so now what is this lead you have made av <laughs> what is this lead a v f augmented voltage from foot the perfect view from the bottom right you're looking at the bottom of the heart right ah oh, it reminds me of something very naughty when i was in college one of my friend who came to know new things very late in his life he came to know and he told me najib you know one thing i said what he said there is something very curious about the woman lady's legs i said what is curious he said when you reach at the top actually you find yourself at the bottom i was not knowing what he is talking about those days actually i knew but i behaved as if i don't know but today when i was preparing the lecture i bought this lead i remember my dad friend saying that he was the first to tell me that when you reach at the top of the woman's leg actually you find yourself where at the bottom is it right so this view is for the top towards the top but actually you are at the bottom of the heart that is what i want you to remember not the other thing okay then goldberger so this is now gold uh, this was wilson central terminal with what is this wilson in different electrode what is this this is goldberger central terminal and this is goldberger in different electrode clear then he modified with every arrangement for example in this person now he put positive here he is putting positive here down he is disconnecting this negative and negatives are only here and here so goldberger this time it will shift in between them and axis of the lead will be now actually by this way he has converted vl into avl av i don't know why this f word is in my mind avl right same goldberger played with this lead system also how did he do it put a positive electrode here connect the positive electrode here and negative only on the what is this the left. left arm and left, left foot or leg and keep the positive on the exploring electrode on the right. right and in this way he was able to achieve this lead and what is this lead av r in this way now we have unipolar leads and bipolar leads bipolar leads you know already right where positive electrodes are detecting the potential difference referenced against the negative electrode these are bipolar leads 1 2 and 3 no 2 3 and 1 clear then unipolar leads unipolar leads are on positive electrode or exploring electrode is detecting the potential difference at a site reference against a in different virtual electrode is that right if this virtual electrode is connected at three negative point then it is wilson system right and that by wilson system of you can have voltage from the foot voltage from the right arm left arm and voltage from the right arm is that clear the only issue with this was that wilson was able to create very successfully three more unipolar leads right and similar leads goldberger terminal he used to develop the six chest leads that we will talk about later <coughs> next lecture now what is there the only problem here was the good points of wilson was it was able to achieve a indifferent electrode and it was able to put the indifferent electrode in the center of the heart and it was able to do it without add, uh, uh, making any new applying any new electrode on the body this was the positive thing major negative thing with by the wilson system was that amplitude of the of magnitude of the voltage is picked up were very small so in 1940s wilson was in 1930s remember these are called anthoven's leads you can call it also wilson 
यूनिपोलर लिम्ब लीड्स बट लेटर ऑन गोल्ड बर्गर यूनिपोलर लिम्ब लीड्स कम वेयर वोल्टेज वॉज ऑगमेंटेड एंड दे आर दीज लीड्स आर नो मोर यूज नाउ दिस सेंट्रल टर्मिनल इज प्रेजेंटली यूज ओनली फॉर चेस्ट लीड्स राइट बट इट इज नो मोर यूज फॉर द लिम्ब्स द रीजन बींग इन द लिम्ब वेयर एवर यू पुट पॉजिटिव देर इज ऑल्सो नेगेटिव देयर एंड पार्ट ऑफ द वोल्टेज इज कैंसल्ड बट इफ यू पुट लिसन नेगेटिव हेयर नेगेटिव हेयर एंड नेगेटिव हेयर राइट एंड पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रॉड यू आर पुटिंग ऑन द चेस्ट डू यू थिंक वोल्टेज विल बी न्यूट्रलाइज नो इफ यू आर मेकिंग चेस्ट लीड बाय द विल्सन सेंट्रल टर्मिनल देन पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रॉड यू आर पुटिंग ऑन द चेस्ट राइट एट डिफरेंट पोजिशन द मूवेबल चेस्ट लीड इलेक्ट्रॉड राइट बट नेगेटिव इलेक्ट्रॉड वेन यू आर मेकिंग द चेस्ट लीड नेगेटिव इलेक्ट्रॉड इज Applied on the right arm, left arm, and the foot. You are getting it. Yes. So negatives are on the limbs, and positive electrode is on the chest. So do you think negative positive at some point will neutralize? No. So voltage issue does not come by Wilson system when you are recording chest, chest lead. Voltage issue come when you are recording limb, limb leads because wherever on the limb you put the positive electrode, there is a negative electrode there. to cancel it out partially am i clear yes sir clear right so now any question up to this here you can see another thing this is wilson system sir one question G yes what is your question sir we have created with negative force why not the positive force what you are saying sir uh, the triangle consists of negative force according to sir why not wow a beautiful question he is saying triangle consists of negative pole at three points and we achieve here zero why not with the positive should i tell you some very beautiful answer even if you put the positive it will become zero it is not about polarity that is negative or positive the thing is that same electrode same pole either negative pole at three points or positive pole at three points and equilateral triangle the center should be zero potential you understand it should i give you a proof look here vf is voltage from lower corner this is from vl is from left and this is from right right or you call it avr okay because these are not being used these days right these are being used for the limbs am i clear but why i explained these things so that you don't get confused when you read from the books secondly put foundation for the chest lead in different terminal now let me tell you that voltage which is recorded from avf what is this avf is from here right plus voltage from avl because these are positive electrode voltage and voltage from avr all of them when you will add together it will become zero and on ecg paper when you look at the pattern of the ecg and you measure the voltages you will really see all of them are zero i will explain in few minutes but is it clear now yes is it clear to you yes. right so now onward what i'm going to talk about that in case of limb blades yes originally vf vl and vr were made but they are no more used now in place of them uh, rather than wilson central terminal which is fixed this in different electrode is fixed. fixed we have goldberger central terminal where this is mobile what is this in different electrode if you put positive on the foot in different electrode is between right and left arm if you put positive on the left arm then indifferent electrode is made by the negative and left. other negative from the foot and the right, right. right arm if you put positive on the right, right. right arm then indifferent electrode shift left arm and left between the left arm and left leg so it means gold burger is gold burger burger electrode is variable you understand it and wilson is fixed 
remember we don't need to do this thing ourselves these days ecg machines are very smart we just put it the selector we want to record avf automatically the machine will if you are put the selector at avf automatically machine internal mechanism will make this electrode positive and these two negative, negative. if you put the selector on lead number 2 only two will two electrode will be left active right arm negative and left leg positive so these are we have to understand them but actually machine does it automatically you understand it yes. now once we have learned all this system now i can remove wilson system okay now we are left with bipolar limb leads which are enthoven system is that right yes, and augmented voltage limb leads which are goldberger. goldberger system or modified wilson system is it clear yes. any question up to this now after knowing all these things let's see what are the patterns yeah, when these leads are detecting the electrical activity of the heart what are the patterns which are drawn on the ecg paper again i will say pattern will change because every positive electrode is when positive electrode is put at different positions the view of the heart electrical activity of the heart changes right now we are going to see that okay i'll remove this also now we are going to talk about that what are the ecg patterns which are drawn by unipolar augmented limb leads avf avl and avr and how do they compare with bipolar limb leads is that right so let's make a comparison if negative electrode is sorry indifferent electrode is here okay i will put it indifferent over let me draw the heart first this is your heart right here is the suppose i'm just drawing the major ventricular depolarization major ventricular depolarization which is in frontal plane it is moving down and left yeah. remember bipolar limb leads and augmented unipolar limb leads all of them are uh, measuring the electrical potential of cardiac electrical activity transmitted to the frontal plane they are all frontal leads is that right now here is this i will make already what we did if we put positive electrode only here right indifferent electrode is here now right augmented unipolar limb lead avf what is this a v f i'm not showing the negative electrode now positive electrode is put over here or exploring electrode is put over here now it will look at the cardiac activity now three major cardiac activity this is the atrial depolarization this is major ventricular depolarization right previously we knew that if we put negative here and positive here what was it two and if we put negative here and positive here what was it lead three is it right now when qrs vector is moving down and left when it will draw when it will draw when this vector electrical activity will be detected by bipolar limb lead number 2 you remember that from the previous lecture so this component of the vector is projected along the axis of lead number 2 and because positive charges are moving towards the positive electrode there was positive deflection this is lead number 
and then when there was lead number three, look at here. This is lead number three. Now a part of it when it is going along the lead number three. So this will be also recorded positive, but with less amplitude. Is that right? Yes. Three. But AVF, AVF, AVF is between the lead two and three. It is positioned between the lead two and three. Two and three. If vector was, for example, perfectly parallel to lead number two, two right? When you move axis of AVF, now I'm going to draw the axis of AVF. Let's suppose I make the axis of AVF like that. Now, if I draw, now I make it here so that it becomes more clear. This is the vector. Here is lead number two. Here was lead number three. And here is AVF. Is that right? The maximum component of this was a long lead number. True. A part of it is with lead number A V F and very small component was lead number three. three. Now this vector does project along the axis of A V F and also project along the axis of lead number two also project against so on this electrical activity this is the true electrical activity right you can look it through lead number two maximum amplitude of qrs avf less lead number three least you understand it so what is happening that lead number this is lead number two if its amplitude of QRS is like that, here, right? Okay, I will make it like, and this is, I will make it, yes, different color. It is AVF. And what is that again? Lead number three. Is that clear? So what is happening? AVF wave pat pattern is somewhat similar with lead number two and three somewhat similar with lead number two and three is that right now we come to another thing this is a major electrical vector in the heart right here i put lead number it is looking like that what is this lead number two, two. and here i put it like that what is lead number three, three. and if it's looking straight what is lead number AVF. All of them are inferiorly located. All of them are looking at the vector. But because vector is most parallel with the lead number 2, so it will have the best, best QRS deflection. And this vector is least parallel with lead number 3. So it will have least deflection. And because AVF is in between, its deflection will be less than lead number 2 and more than lead number 3. Am I clear? Yes, sure. Now we come to another thing. He was, here was lead number one. You remember? Yes. Lead number one was this axis. Right? But what is the axis of this? Okay, this was AVF. What is the axis of this? AV? L. L. Now, lead number one has positive electrode on the left side. Lead number one, okay. Another way to explain it. Major ventricular depolarization is going downward and leftward usually around 60 degree. Right? All the leads which are inferior, they will detect what? Positive deflection. And all the leads which are on the left side, they will also detect positive deflection. Because vector moves not only downward, it also moves leftward. leftward. So what is the movement of orientation of electrical vector of major ventricular depolarization in the frontal plane question is what is the orientation of mean qrs vector mean qrs vector in the frontal plane 
we say orientation is downward and leftward or you can say it's around 60 degrees usually later on we'll have a very big lecture about the axis normal electrical axis of the heart and axis deviation but for a while we just assume it is 60 degree so any lead which has positive electrode or exploring electrode down or left deflection will be positive so down inferior leads are second lead third lead and perfectly inferior AVF. AVF and leftward leads which are the leads which have a positive electrode on the left side lead number one and what is this going AVL. AVL so lead one and AVF they will have somewhat similar what complexes but there is a big issue when you put positive electrode here when you put positive electrode, electrode here and other two limbs left leg and this negative you are making which lead AVR. AVR look my friend I'm talking about if you put negative here and negative here and you put positive here what is this lead AVR if electrical axis of heart are going downward and leftward and AVR axis are going upward and rightward they are in same direction or opposite direction so here QRS complex will be reversed because positive charges are moving away you remember the theory of the ECG when girl is moving towards the boy deflection is up so for all the leads which are down or left usually their deflections are QRS complex major, major deflection is positive and this lead what is this lead AVR right here major electrical activity of the heart is moving down and left so it is seeing positive charge is going away girl is going away deflection is negative. negative right so now I will show you something interesting before we go into further detail and that interesting thing is this is your heart right here is major ventricular depolarization but actually right now if you detect this is lead number yes two. two so ECG pattern will come like that is that right this I have explained in the very first lecture of ECG basics of ECG how why uh, in this lead PQRST complex come like that right now if we put a lead number two and three lead number three here is lead number two lead number three what will be the pattern if it is parallel to this then smaller component is along that then QRST complex will be less amplitude or more amplitude less right this is tallest complex this is somewhat smaller and if you look at lead number one this was two this is three and this is lead number one because vectors are going downward and also leftward so leftward component will be detected by this lead but that is very small component so it will come but with very very little fluctuation so these are the normally in a normal person healthy person your uh, ECG pattern lead number 2 3 and 1 will be dominantly positive because these leads have their positive ends either down or left clear but still th even though mainly the, these three leads show the positive deflections but still magnitude of deflection is what is this different why because leads are looking at the same electrical activity from different angles, angles. is that right as I tell you this is my face you look only from this side you will miss my this ear you look from this side you will see this but you will miss this if you take from front maybe you will have better view 
But really to understand my face, if you see from the front, you will miss the back of the ear. So you have to put multiple leads. So lead two, three and one, these are their normal pattern. Now here I put the pattern of AVF. Now look at it. AVF pattern will be somewhere between lead number two and three. You are understanding? Someone looking electrical activity from the heart from down and rightward, down and leftward, down and upward. Looking from the down, upward. This is upward and rightward. Upward and leftward. This is upward and upward. <laughs> right? So, if vector is parallel to 2, best amplitude here, here it is less, but what will be the amplitude of AVF? AVF will also have mainly positive deflections because it is also present somewhere down. So vector is moving towards it. But its complex will be smaller than magnitude will be smaller than lead number 2 and slightly greater than lead 3. You understand why? Because its axes are in between those two. Right? Because if you extend it like this and like this and AVF will go like that. So it is in between. So AVF uh, pattern will be it will not be as tall as lead 2. Right? If lead 2 is so much this is smaller than that. Right? But of course as compared to 3 it is bigger. Am I clear? Now you understand how these leads are helping? Yes. Right? Another thing. This is the pattern of AVF. What will be the pattern of AVL? AVL is like that. Is that right? And AVR is like that. What will be the pattern of this? It will be the pattern somewhat like lead number? One. 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 The, so it is almost same as one. The real thing is pattern drawn by the AVR. Because here is the boy who is looking from there and she is moving away. Deflections will be mainly positive or negative? Negative. negative. Now here even P wave, here P wave, atrial depolarization will move away, septal depolarization will move towards, major ventricular depolarization will again move away. So in this case, in AVR, the whole ECG pattern will be usually it is reversed and this is perfectly normal in healthy heart don't be upset actually it should be reversed actually it should be reversed it should be mainly negative what is this AVR it should be dominantly negative and AVF and AV L, they should be do, uh, dominantly positive. positive. Now you imagine, if you measure the height of this, you measure the height of this, and also measure the height of this and add together. Imagine, for example, it is, we are just taking an example. Let's suppose it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is 8 millivolt high. Here it is. Let's suppose 8 millivolt. I'm just talking about uh, QRS complex. Actually, from 8 we should minus this, but for a while I just take R, right? Okay, no, okay, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So up are 8. How much are? Up are 8, and below are 3. So net is 5. Positive 5. You understand from where it came? Is it clear? Yes. So we can say A V F voltage is suppose plus 5 millivolt. Is that right? Now here we come. Here it is 2 up and 2 down. So its voltage is almost 0. A V L is equal to 0. Or if I make it a little more tall, we can say it is plus 1. It should become plus 1, plus one millivolt. You are understanding from where it came? Yes. 
now you add them together now you add what is this avf plus avl avf plus avl plus avr should be negative now avf is how much plus 5 now add to this avl plus plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus you have to add avr it should be that minus 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 but two are other direction net is av r is net is minus 6 6 so plus 5 plus 1 right plus minus 6 millivolt if you add them together millivolts what is the result zero zero you got it any question up to this there is no question now before i leave the lecture i want to talk about orientation of here now we have learned two laws right two concepts that how how augmented limb leads are voltage wise related with each other how the augmented limb leads are voltage why is related to each other they are related avl plus avf plus av r is equal to zero you remember bipolar limb leads were also related to each other through enthoven's law in bipolar limb leads what was there lead 1 plus 3 is equal to 2 because in bipolar limb lead negative positive negative positive negative and positive lead number 2 one and three voltage in lead number one and three if they add it together they will make voltage in the two but there can be another thing if you reverse this voltage which is normally not done here in lead number two you put negative here and positive here then one plus three plus two is equal to zero you are understanding but because we keep this negative and this so this positive and this negative so law is 1 plus 3 is equal to 2 two. am i clear now axis of these leads relative to each other in the frontal plane triaxial triaxial diagram i will make two triaxial diagram triaxial triaxial diagram for the bipolar limb lead and here i will make tri axial reference orientation or diagram for the unipolar, unipolar augmented unipolar limb leads even the unipolar limb leads also have the same for augmented unipolar, unipolar limb leads here we have already said that this was zero this was lead number 1 and here was yes if positive is here this is lead number 1 at 0 degree this was lead number 2 3 and this was lead number 2 right and last time i discussed that actually lead number 1 axis is used as reference axis what is used as reference. reference axis and we consider it zero when you move clockwise there are positive degrees when you move anti clockwise there negative. negative degree now listen if it is zero this must be what 180 degree 180 degree right now here should be what 90 degree so lead number and here should be 30 degree right so leads what is this plus 30 and plus 60 and what is this plus 90 but uh, this lead is not uh, and none of the bipolar lead is along this 
none of the bipolar lead is along this. It is plus 60 and what is this? Plus 120. And there is no lead along this. So what we can say that bipolar limb leads are oriented, they are spatial oriented in the orientation, they are spatial orientation in the frontal plane. Right? We can say lead number 1 is oriented at 0 degree angle, lead number 2 is at 60 degree, 60 degree. and lead number 120. And I will make this point thickened and negative ends dotted. Negative ends are made dotted and positive ends are made it more solid. Right? Lead number 3. Yes, lead number. What is this? Bipolar limb lead number 2. And here it is lead number 1. This is how they are related how they are angulated in reference to each other. But when we make the triaxial of the, what is this? Unipolar, Unipolar leads. If I make this diagram, these were the bipolar leads. Unipolar leads were like that. AV? What was this? AV? F. Here it was AVL. And here it was AVR. If you we put it here, then we will see that exactly vertical is AVF. If you are keeping still lead number 1 as reference, then AVF is how many degrees? 90 degrees. Right? And here is what? AV L. And this is here was the positive, there it is negative minus 30 degree. And this is AV R. If it was 180, it will go minus 30. So it will become minus 150. So these are the orientation of unipolar, augmented unipolar leads in frontal plane. Right? This diagram is representing the triaxial diagram of orientation of bipolar limb leads. That diagram is representing the triaxial orientation of augmented unipolar limb leads. And when you are com you combine the diagram of both, then you come to know the ori orientation of yes, orientation of six six limb lead three bipolar leads and three Unip augmented unipolar leads relative to each other so let's combine these two diagrams let's combine this and that diagram i will make a circle here right there should be one line one line straight and make it a reference for what bipolar lead what is this lead number one zero degree and if you make it straight like that, what is this? A, B, F. What is this? 90 degree. 90 degree. Now you will tell me. What is this? Lead number, lead number bipolar limb lead 3. Uh, two, yes, two. You are right. Lead number two, and uh, what is this? Bipolar limb lead three. Is that right? Any question up to this? There is no question. Now, what was this lead? A V L positive was here. And there was a positive here. You know this one. A, V, R. Now negative poles, I have made it with dashed line or dotted lines. Right? Now how these are oriented to each other? Actually, the same electrode on the limb. Right arm, left arm and left foot. Right? Arranged different way and you ended up with how many leads? 
six leads right what is this lead now you tell me again lead one, lead one. this is now hex axial diagram hex axial diagram for limb leads in frontal plane right this is now it's very important you should know the orientation of the lead it means the angle of orientation and you must know the polarity of lead that where is the positive pole so we can say lead number one is zero angle after that this is minus 30 oh yes plus 30 this is plus 60 and what is this lead number two then plus 90 AVF then plus 120 lead number three at plus what is this 150 there is no positive here it's only neg negative and or indifferent and and if you reach from here up to here you're moving from here what is this zero plus 30 plus 60 lead number two plus 90 AVF plus 120 lead number three plus 150 there's no lead and then this is plus 180 along this now you move upward this is minus 30 this is the orientation of AV L there's nothing at minus this is the negative pole of lead number 3 at minus 60 at minus 90 there's indifferent component of the AVF right uh, minus uh, 120 what is this minus 120 negative end of the lead number 2 negative pole of lead number 2 uh, and minus 150 AVR positive electrode exploring electrode and of course as you are moving in the minus direction this is minus 180 also here this is the same thing right clockwise you put designations positive at every 30 degree anti-clockwise you put negative this is hex axial diagram this diagram help you if number one not only to know the orientation of frontal leads relative to each other and also you should designate the positive pole where they are but what is the use of this diagram the use of this diagram is a use of this hex axial front, uh, limb lead frontal plane system is to determine the electrical axis of the heart to determine the electrical, electrical axis of the heart right is there no a heart is having normal electrical axis or is there the right axis deviation or left axis deviation that we will discuss in future lecture but after this lecture we are going to talk about chest leads right and later on when we come to the clinical ECG we'll talk about how this hexaxial frontal limb lead system is used to determine the ex electrical axis of the heart but in this one thing I want you to want you to remember that as far as these leads are concerned you must know their orientation and you must know their polarity for example if I say bipolar lead lead two orientation is plus 60 degree and polarity is down and left if I say AVF orientation is 90 degree and exploring electrode is at plus 90 not at ne negative 90 if I say AVR you, are sh you should be able to tell immediately AVR has positive polar polarity where minus 150. minus 150 positive polarity at left right arm is it clear so here you must know what are the orientation of the leads relative to each other and what are their polarities do you have any question up to this or there is no question sure you want me to review or it's perfectly okay okay I will review it fastly you will tell me first of all difference between bipolar and unipolar if I am the electrode machine this is the negative electrode and this is the positive electrode if in bipolar leads positive electrode is referenced against the negative electrode in unipolar lead positive electrode is referenced against the indifferent electrode what is indifferent electrode indifferent electrode has a potential near zero indifferent electrode has potential near 
zero. How indifferent electrode is made? In 1930s, first of all, it was made by Wilson. Wilson, right? And Wilson, if now I consider, if in the machine, okay, fast review, you will tell me. In Wilson system, if this is positive electrode and this is negative terminal, it was added to three wires through the resistances and these were ended up into left foot, yes, right arm and left arm. Left arm. So it will make a Wilson triangle with negative at the corners and virtual electrode will be placed in the center with almost zero potential. potential. Then wherever you put the positive, it will. if you put the positive here, it will become VF. VF. If you put positive over here, this will become VL. VL. If you put positive over here, this will become VL. VR. And here the Wilson electrode, central Wilson electrode is making indifferent what? electrode which is central Wilson terminal is making indifferent electrode which is where in the center of the heart but amplitude was very low then Goldberger modified it and how did he modify this how he modified this that he put the positive in the same way but negative was even though having three end through the resistances like Wilson but unlike Wilson wherever he was putting positive negative was cancelled right so axis of the leads were same but voltage was augmented. augmented and in this way we got augmented limb leads so if you remove negative from here apply positive here now we'll make it like this if you put negative here and here and positive here what is this AVF, AVF. what is this AVF. If you put negative here and here and positive here, what is AVR? And if you put, okay, I put it uh, positive here, negative in these two places, foot and the right arm, then it is AVR. Is that right? And then this is the triaxial diagram you will tell me of bipolar limb lead. Right, what was this lead? Two, this is three and this is one. This is at zero degree, this is at 60 degree, this is at one twenty degree. Now, yes, this is which lead A V F. Here it is A V L and here it is a V R and what are the orientation this is at yes minus 30 and this is minus 150 and this is plus 90 and now rapidly we make this and now you will tell me which I'm drawing what is uh, this lead zero orientation bipolar limb lead one and what is this lead two Bipolar limb lead 2 at what orientation? 60 degree. 60 degree. And what is this? Bipolar lead number 3 at what orientation? 120 degree. And what is this? AV at what is the orientation? Plus 90. And this is? AV L and with minus 30. And the here it is? AV R which is minus? Minus 150. Any question here? Sure. A little test of you. Very rapid. Positive electrode in one place, negative electrode in another place. What kind of lead? Bipolar. 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 Positive electrode in one. Positive electrode at one place and negative electrode is made indifferent. What is this lead system going to be? Unipolar, unipolar lead. It's simply unipolar lead. Positive electrode referenced against an indifferent electrode this should be unipolar yes. clear yes. now rapidly your, your negative here and positive here lead one. lead one negative here and positive on the foot lead two. two negative here and positive here lead three. bipolar limb lead three now negative terminal made indifferent, indifferent. positive electrode on the foot AVF. 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 right because we don't use Wilson for the limb now these days we use only Goldberger. So, if okay, I will put it more simple. 
If negative is here and here and positive there, AVF. 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 If negative is here and on the foot and positive here, AV, L. And if positive is here and negative on the foot and here, AVR. AVR. Any question? Class dismissed.